I'm gonna make this as easy as possible for me. Hmm. We're back Holy at the moly. Again. See the box down there? Maybe Polly has put something in there again. Help. You're so right, Botley. And this time, it's not gonna be easy. Maybe you and your little friend should just give up now and go play with some of my old baby toys. Okay, so what I'm thinking, it says bridge twice. Oh, and there's two logs. Well, fucking hell, how am I supposed to do this? I don't like this. I don't like that it's more challenging. Can we just, you know what, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh. I can't tell. I don't want to. I don't want to show myself as a dum dum, but I also just want to get through this. Fuck it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Don't give a shit. I do not give a single shit. Okay, west one. Log west. Jump west. They literally have been doing all the work for me. Wait, what? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I promise un under any other circumstances, I'd be like, yes, let's in- Oh no. What's gonna happen? Oh, okay, that's fine. But yeah, under any other circumstance, I'd be like, okay, yes, let's increase the level. But in this case, we're 20 points away. It's such a good excuse not to. <laughs> Nice going. You had him in the palm of your hand the whole time. Great. Take the clue and put it in your inventory. Then, on to complete this I just don't want to use my brain right now, that's all. We made it. Let's just go before the computer crashes, please. Okay. Oh! His head stayed. Oh boy. Ready for another spin of the wheel? Just click on the on button. See, this is why I want to get through it. His head just stayed in the same place. Oh my. Okay, kids, it's Pollywood Squares with your host, Monty Monitor. Pull up a chair, answer a few questions, and you'll win the chance to rescue poor Verna Venbot before she sells all her candy and leaves nothing for anyone else. <laughs> your first clue is a hammer. The hammer will tell you what your mission is all about. Pounder, beetle, mallet, and maul. They're all names for a hammer. One of the oldest tools ever invented. Which part of your body has a bone called a hammer? That's right! Deep inside your ear, there's a little bone called a hammer. The hammer moves sound from your eardrum to your inner ear. Besides hearing, what else does the ear control? Good! There's liquid deep inside your ear that sends messages to your brain to help you keep your balance. The word balance also refers to an instrument used for comparing the weight of two objects. What can you weigh with a balance? Congratulations! <laughs> coins are small enough to weigh with a balance. And coins are what your mission is all about. Wow, we're going back to the invention of coins. Oh, there's no telling what trouble Verna Venbot is getting herself into. Yeah, he's still smiling. A pair of chopsticks is your second clue. Chopsticks. The chopsticks will show you where in the world your mission will take you. Imagine eating dinner with two sticks. That's what chopsticks are. Skinny bamboo or wooden sticks used for eating food. Chopsticks were invented in which country? Oh. Mm-mm, good. In meals eaten with chopsticks, the food comes to the table already cut up. That's why you don't need a knife. Over one billion people live in China. On what continent is China? Good thinking! Asia is the largest of all continents. It also has the most people. 
Did you know that three out of every five people on Earth live in Asia? Hmm. Which of the following countries is partly in Asia and partly in Europe? That's right. Turkey is a country in the Middle East. Turkey is where coins were invented. Hey, hey, we're halfway there. Keep going. You're doing great. No tidbits about Turkey, Bali? Your third clue is a scale. The scale will tell you who invented coins. This scale is called a balance. All you do is put objects into each pan and compare their weights. This type of scale was once used to weigh coins and other small objects. A symbol is something that stands for an idea. The scale is a symbol of what idea? Balance! Oh, or justice, I suppose. Way to go! Uh -huh. Justice is fairness. If you are just, you'll make fair decisions. The scales of justice symbolize the fairness of the laws. If the law treats everyone equally, the scales will be balanced. Who came to America in search of justice and freedom? Oh God, what bullshit are they gonna show me? Oh. Good for you. The pilgrims came to America in 1620 in search of religious freedom. They wanted to live in a place where they could lead a just life and be treated fairly. The pilgrims are famous for eating turkey. What people are famous for living in Turkey? You guessed it! The Lydians lived in the region known as Turkey, way before Turkey got that name. The Lydians invented gold and silver coins to make trading easier. Hmm. Venbot's hanging with the Lydians. I only hope they're getting along. Come on, just one more clue to go. Hanging with the Lydians. Love it. Your fourth clue is a cash register. It will show you when coins were invented. The cash register was invented 100 years ago by the owner of a tavern. He wanted to keep a clear record of the money that came into his bar so that none of the workers would steal it. Cash registers hold money in the form of coins or bills. What do you call fake cash that looks real? Counterfeit. There's no fooling you. Uh -huh. If you make fake coins or bills, you're a counterfeiter. Real coins are no longer made from which of the following? I just, I really love how it's all in caps. It's just, it's great. Not bad, not bad at all. The world's first coins were made from silver and gold. Today, coins may look silver, but they're nothing but copper and nickel. Silver is a precious metal first used to make coins around 2,400 years ago. When were coins first made? Oh, dear me. Very good. The Lydians made coins in 600 BC. Soon, the Egyptians started making coins. Buying and selling was changed forevermore. Mm. All this talk about metals is making me hungry. Let's find Venbot and get some candy. I love a chocolate bar with nuts and bolts. Ha <laughs> ha! I love it. I love the puns. They make me so happy. Well, this is it. A journey into time. Click on me to start the trip. Next stop, Turkey. The Lydians are about to invent the world's first coins. Think they'll succeed? Let's flip on it. Heads say they do, tails say they don't. Bingo! There's Verna Venbo.
Genbot, the robot vending machine. What's she doing with that Lydian mom and her kid? I get it. The kid wants to use the world's first coin to get some candy out of Venbot. Can't blame him, really. But still, you better hit that recall button. How are they not terrified of a random giant robot being there? Phew, that was close. Ah, uh, they're gonna use the coins to buy bread. That's the thing with money. You can purchase an item without having to trade something you made. Now hold on while I steer this contraption back! Phew, we made it back! Always a good sign. Press the back button on the utility belt to leave the time machine. We need to put this robot to rest. <sighs> oh my it god! It does my CPU chip good to know that I've helped bring these guys back where they belong. Oh my goodness. work, Natalie. I guess my own innate intelligence has rubbed off on you. Still, this little nightmare's not over yet. Still more robots to find, more challenges to meet. Good luck. You'll need it. Three more. Alright. We still got places to go and robots to rescue. Click on the inventory to start a mission. We just need three more. I do not want the system to crash, but I do want to finish this today. Oh, God save me, uh. All right. We still got places to go and robots to rescue. Click on any of the buttons near the bottom of the Transquizzer. We've already completed that mission. Money's the most fascinating invention of all time. Before money, people used the barter system. If you wanted a loaf of bread, you had to give the bread maker something you made in exchange. But if he didn't want what you made, well, you didn't get your bread. The world's first money were coins. Why were coins invented? Oh, coins were necessary, you see, because people wanted to get candy bars out of candy machines. And everyone knows that you need coins for that, and the early machines didn't take bills. Oh, Polly, of course that's not true. Vending machines were invented long after coins. In the barter system, if you didn't make anything the bread maker could use, you didn't get your bread. Since everyone could use coins, coins made buying and selling easier. We've already completed that mission. Select one of the glowing buttons to head out on a new one. Some people claim that human beings are the only animals who use tools. Plenty of animals use tools. Horses have been known to pick up a stick to scratch their backs. And chimpanzees use sticks to fish for termites hidden deep inside logs. What were mankind's first tools used for? The first tools were hammers, screwdrivers, and wrenches. After all, people needed something to fix their televisions with. Oh my god. Horrifying but true, Polly. Obviously, there were no TV repairmen back then, so clever humans invented hammers and screwdrivers to fix televisions on their own. Police! You mean to tell me that televisions were invented before tools? How did people build TVs in the first place? With their teeth? We've got to get to the invention of tools before Polly goes too far! <laughs> Click on the inventory button to put away the transquizzer. I love the shit he says. Well, Boobly, I've sent Hank, the robot repairman, to fix things once and for all. Try all you want, but there's nothing you can do. I've hidden the following four clues, and I bet you'll never find them. A fingerprint, a bus, an iron, and a penguin. Penguin? Hank can fix anything. Where would I be without my weekly tweaking? We've got to find those clues and get them back so we can fix Polly for good. As um, long as there is a hey, I'm, I'm gonna do two. Two, and then I'm gonna move on. And we'll do this another day. Keep still while I sense around for clues. Bingo! I've sensed a mission clue in the kitchen. Ooh! Voila! Another mission clue is hidden in the professor's virtual collection. Works for me. I love it.
Is it too much to ask for people to leave the doors unlocked around here? Well, we can figure out the combination again. Oh, please hurry. I'm faint with hunger. I always thought he said Harry, like he was calling Botley Harry. And I was just like, um, yo, that's the wrong name. Do I have to put 10 or do I have to put zero? Nope, zero. Wait, what? You added the numbers correctly, but the result is too big to fit on one tile. Wait, hold so on. So we need to carry the extra amount to the next column. Oh. Now the extra amount in the tens place has been carried over to the hundreds place. Okay, I thought I was wrong for a second. You got the first lock. Two more to go. I'm like, I know I'm not. <laughs> but... Okay. It looks like the number on the bottom is too big to be subtracted from the number on the top. Click the top tile of the column you want to borrow from. Oh my god, his voice became all sultry. Ten tens have been borrowed from the hundreds column and added to the tens column. Now you can subtract the numbers in the tens place. Oh boy. 666, six, six, what up? Oh, hell yeah. All right, you got two locks. Just one more. Bless them for using the devil's language. Fuck yeah. Not language, but you know what I mean. <laughs> the devil's numbers. You did it. I knew Polly couldn't keep us out. We're in the I'm obviously kidding about everything. Chow time, and Mort's ready to munch. So, what'll it be tonight, Monsieur Mort? Let's see. Tonight I'm in the mood for a bowl of creamy macaroni and cheese. Ooh. And please top that with some chili peppers, nice metal gears, plain old cream, and refined sugar. Well, bon appetit, I guess. Now click on the on-off switch in front of the feeding machine, and I'll crank this baby into gear. Bon appétit! I'm trying to remember if he ever had slime. I really love the way that the slime, like, went into the beakers. Any hoodles. Let's add the chili pebbles. <laughs> that was just great. I loved it. Six, six, six for the win. The wind of the combination for the door to the kitchen. That's just great. All right, after virtual collection, I think I'm going to sign off just because I'm terrified. <laughs> it's going to fucking log me off again. Like, for fuck's sake, though, honestly. Like, you guys weren't there. I would... Maybe I'll do, like, a brief little, like, recap, like, towards the end of this episode of, like, what I went through. And I'm just like, oh, no, what is this? Um, we'll see. Or at least I'll let you know how long it took before I was able to get things back to normal. But even now I'm terrified that it's not going to go back to normal. That, like, the second I reboot it, it's going to be like, all right, time to go back. So what exactly were coins used for? And I'll be like, no! Look at how cool that looks! That looks so scrumptious! Like, I mean, I don't want to eat, you know, like, flour or cream just by itself, but, like, it looks really cool! I like it. Fuck off. I'm sorry, no. <laughs> oh, god. Yeah, I'm ready to leave. I'm just- no, I'm ready for it to be over. That's not even true. I'm just ready for it to be over. It's just- this, this was a long game. <laughs> This was a long game. What's funny is Carmen San Diego is gonna be even longer, but I don't care because that one's cool. It's not the same thing over and over again. It's learning different things. It's different points in history. <laughs> that hits the spot. Way to go! Man, that Mort can put it away. Thank you so much. And please, this is for you.
Okay, stash that clue in your inventory and let's finish this mission.